Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ruby using RVM. Um, so, first things first, you're going to want to grab the uh, the signature file and add that. Uh, just grab this from the description below. And once that's in there, then you can run the following command, curl, forward slash curl, dash S, capital S, L, https dot dot slash slash get dot rvm dot io and pipe that to bash dash s stable um, now we're going to add the ruby flags so it automatically installs the latest version of ruby um, and then we're going to add with the default gems with default gems sorry and uh, I usually always install rails and bundler and rake with every Ruby installation so um, I'm just gonna add those to my default gems and then add the dash dash auto libs equals enabled and this will automatically install any packages using app get if you um, if you're missing anything now it's a good time to go grab a coffee because this is gonna take at least 15 minutes so now that we have our VM installed uh, what we want to do is we want to set the default uh, Ruby version so RVM use 2.2.1 dash dash default which is the first one uh, the latest version that I ins had installed um, there you go. So now if you press Ruby dash V, you'll see the version is set to Ruby 2.2.1. So imagine you have a, a different folder where you want a different version of Ruby used. Um, you would just go into that folder and set the version that you want to use. RVM use that and it'll have a project specific gem files. Um, another thing that I always do right after is uh, run this command echo uh, in quotes gem dash dash no ri and dash dash no r doc so basically what this does and add this to your gem rc file what this does is it tells it not to install the documentation locally uh, nobody cares about that anymore you know you just go on the web to get your documentation so just save yourself the time um, and that's it. That's how you install our Ruby using RVM. Thanks for watching.